Dr. Theodore Nyami is a Harvard-educated and Harvard-trained board-certified plastic surgeon specializing in aesthetic and reconstructive surgery. Born in Ghana, his family came to the United States when he was eight years old in pursuit of the American dream. So my brother and I actually were born and raised in Ghana, West Africa, in a small little village. When I was eight, about eight years old, my parents brought our family to the United States. We grew up in the South Bronx. From there, we then began our educational accomplishments. Theodore attended Cornell University for his undergraduate studies, where he majored in chemistry and chemical biology. He graduated at the top of his class with distinction in all subjects and was accepted into many of the nation's top medical schools. He ultimately decided to pursue his medical studies at Harvard Medical School. At Harvard, he excelled in the surgical specialties and developed a love for reconstructive plastic surgery. After graduation, he was one of three selected out of hundreds of applicants to train in plastic surgery at the Harvard Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery Program. In 2015, he was selected as a member of the team to perform the first full-face transplant in the United States, a groundbreaking procedure in the industry. Uh, I've traveled the world and have been very fortunate to participate in a number of very interesting opportunities, uh, from the first face transplant done in the United States to the first bilateral hand transplant. So uh, my cultural background has really shaped the way I look at everything. He has traveled across the world to spread information on the latest techniques and technologies to his esteemed peers in the plastic surgery community. The proudest moment has nothing to do with me, but probably my brother. Uh, my brother, as I mentioned, is a practicing neurosurgeon. When we first came to this country, we didn't speak any English. So we started off in the South Bronx in an underserved area, and through a hard work and uh, self-belief, we've been able to achieve a lot. So one of my proudest moments was seeing him graduate as a practicing neurosurgeon. For a long time, the achievements of African Americans and people of color have essentially been minimized. So in this era, it's great to have a platform and a voice where those of us who have been able to achieve, usually by climbing on the shoulders of those that came before us, have a platform where we can show off some of those accomplishments. For many of us who have known that uh, folks of color have been achieving for quite some time, this is an opportunity for us to showcase our accomplishments so that the future and the next generation can see what it is that they're capable of. The things that we've been able to achieve today, our next generation should be able to build on. And that's why it's so important and so critical in today's time.